lifelikeyoumeanit.com coming to you live to talk about beating imposter syndrome again using some NLP strategies. So today what I'd like to talk to you about is starting to reframe and what that means is really trying to find some positives out of a negative situation in this case. So with imposter syndrome, if you are a sufferer yourself or you know somebody that is, then you know that this can actually be quite devastating. People with imposter syndrome don't tend to be able to actually acknowledge their own achievements in life. So whether that's personal or professional. So you might hear them or yourself saying things like when they get the job promotion, they brush it off and say, well, nobody else applied or they think that I am better than what I am, or something like that to put themselves down, not being able to actually recognize that they got this job on their own merits, that they work hard, they have the training, they have the experience, etc. So you can imagine that this can affect all areas of your life, right? People that feel like they're not a good enough mom, they're not a good enough wife, right? They're not a good enough friend, all of this type of stuff. So with reframing with NLP, it means that we start to look at some other options here. So something like, you know, you feeling like you're not good enough to have the job that you have right now. If you can turn that around and ask yourself, okay, where might this be useful? Or how might this be useful for me to actually feel like I am not the best person for my, my job? Meaning that rather than you, you know, beating yourself up and actually believing that you're not, that you turn this into, okay, well, what do I need then to ensure and feel like I am the right person for this job? Because you did get the job. Other people believe that you are the right person person for this job. So how can we turn this into something useful rather than you beating yourself up all the time and constantly waiting for people to figure out that you are a fraud and that you're not the, the one that's supposed to be doing this job? Is there some more formal education that you need? Maybe there's some informal guidance that you need from somebody else in the office. Maybe there's YouTube videos that you can watch so that you start to feel more confident with a new task that is outlined for you or whatever it is. So by just simply stopping and asking yourself, okay, where might this actually be useful? These thoughts that I am not good enough, I'm not the right one for this job, people are going to find out that there's somebody better than me. You know, these are all very, very negative thoughts that really have the ability to bring us way, way down. But if we could actually try to see, okay, how might this be useful? It would be useful if rather than just saying these things to myself, I actually use them to catapult me forward. So maybe I've always wanted to go and get my university degree. And because I wasn't able to do that before, that's contributing to me feeling like there's other people that would be better suited for this job, for example. Okay, if you are self-employed, if you're an entrepreneur and it's, you know, you're starting out, you know, I, I was starting out once as an NLP practitioner, right? We all have to start somewhere. And if you're feeling like, well, there's somebody else that's better out there at doing this or offering this product or this service because I am so green around the edges, then, you know, where might this be useful? It might be useful because there might actually be people out there that would love to trade services with you, understanding that you are brand new at doing what you're doing. And so part of the lure of that is that you can trade with each other without having to have an expense that you can give proper feedback to one another so that you can help each other grow and learn from, you know, whatever you maybe need to add to your offer or your product or whatever in a safe environment with somebody that you feel safe 
with, right? So maybe you reach out to some friends or maybe it's somebody in a Facebook group or something like that, that you say, you know what, I actually need what you have to offer. It looks like you have just started out or that you are just kind of tweaking what it is that you are doing. Would you be interested? I'm just starting out and I feel like I need to have a certain number of hours under my belt or a certain number of people that I have helped in order for me to feel like I'm good enough to really put myself out there and be advertising, if you will, to be helping other people. I've realized that that's what I need. And so would you be willing to be one of those people for me? And in exchange, I will try your product or service and we can actually give each other some really constructive feedback over that, right? So always looking at where you can take action, basically, with imposter syndrome or anxiety, you know, any of those kind of negative thoughts. It's one thing to have the negative thought, but it's another thing to not do anything about it and just let that negative thought fester. So instead, reframe, look at how this might be actually useful and turn it into some action, some real tangible, actionable steps that you can take so that you build your confidence and you start believing that you are more capable to do this job, whatever this job is, or more capable of being the mom or the wife or the friend or whatever because you are learning and you're growing and you're allowing yourself to see that in yourself. I hope that, that helps. Go on over to my IGTV, my YouTube or my Facebook. I have all these series of videos in playlists in each of these three spaces. And we are a series of over 10 or 12 videos now, I think we have for imposter syndrome. There's 30 videos for coping with anxiety. So you've got plenty of resources there. And if NLP is something that you're going, yeah, you know what, I really, I dug what you said today, Lisa, about NLP, then jump on a free call with me and see if it's actually right for you with what you're going through right now. And you can access that at lifelikeyoumeanit.com slash calendar. I hope that I get to meet you soon. Bless!